Excuse me, are you the husband? Well, not yet, uh, fiance. Yes. Well, I'm sorry. She's gone. What's that? <laughs> she expired. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, of course. So, she's dead. Yes. Huh. <laughs> Let me ask you, had she been exposed to any kind of inexpensive glue? Why? We found traces of a certain toxic adhesive commonly found in very low-priced envelopes. Well, she was sending out our wedding invitations. That's probably what did it. We were expecting about 200 people. <laughs> well, thank you. She's, uh, gone. Dead? I'm so sorry, George. Yeah, me too. Poor Lily. <laughs> How did it happen? Apparently, the uh, glue in the wedding invitations was, uh, toxic. <laughs> well, that's weird, huh? <laughs> so I guess you're not getting married. Yeah. <laughs> but. Yeah. Well, now I'm engaged. Yeah. Well, I thought we'd both be getting married. Hey, what can I tell you? All right. Come on, let's uh, get some coffee. <laughs> we had a pack. Uh, yes, I'd like to speak with Marissa Tomei, please. <laughs> Marissa, hi. It's uh, it's George Costanza. I, I'm the short, funny, quirky, bald man you met a little while ago. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just calling because uh, I wanted you to know that uh, I'm not engaged anymore. Well, uh, she died. Toxic glue from the wedding invitations. <laughs> well, we were expecting about 200 people. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, I've got the funeral tomorrow, but... Uh, my weekend is pretty wide open, and... Uh, <laughs> You know, I was wondering... Hello? Hello? Well, it's, it's a magnificent stone. They put it up this morning. It's just a magnificent stone. Jerry? George, we'll leave you alone with her. What? I'm sure there are things you'd like to say. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> really? Jerry. Thank you, no. And, and then, right after the, uh, the All-Star break, we, we just swept the Orioles. <laughs> Four games. In Baltimore. <laughs> so. Yeah. We know the last three months have been hard on you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Very, very hard. And they've been hard on us, too. 
It's a terrible tragedy when parents outlive their children. Yes, I agree. I, I hope my parents go long before I do. <laughs> That's why we decided to create a foundation to preserve Susan's memory. Oh, that's wonderful. And of course, we want you to be an integral part. Yes, intric. How, intri how intric? We'll be on the board of directors. Great, great. Oh, 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 gosh. You know, it's just my duties with the Yankees, you oh, know, with Don't Strawberry worry, George. And... The foundation will revolve around your schedule. Evening, weekends, whenever you have free time. I can't believe this is happening. Well, it wouldn't have without your friend Jerry's inspirational words. He said to us, she's not really dead if her shadow is... Uh, what was it, dear? Something about a way, wasn't it? And a light, and a... <laughs> Who the hell knows? Well, what's important is that your relationship with Susan doesn't have to end. So will you be sure to thank Jerry for us? The second I see him. George? George? Oh. I'm Wick Thayer, chairman of the Susan Ross Foundation. Wink. Wick. Wick. Well, as you know, the uh, Rosses had considerable monies. Well, I, I know they have some monies. Mm, they had more than some monies. Many, many monies. <laughs> and they planned uh, to give a sizable portion of their estate to you and Susan after the wedding. So if Susan and I had, I mean, if the envelopes hadn't, uh, then we... Yes. And now? Not. <laughs> it's all been endowed to the foundation. Even this townhouse. This townhouse? Yes, this would have been your wedding gift. And now? Not. Not. <laughs> All so in doubt. George, I know how much Susan meant to you. This can't be easy. You know, it really can't. <laughs> okay, next item, Susan's doll collection. Estimated value, 2.6 million. What do you say we go through this doll by doll? <laughs> to find a poem about Susan? May she rest in peace? <laughs> well, we think it would be a nice touch for the foundation literature. You have a favorite poet, George? I like, uh, Flavin. <laughs> Pardon? Flavin. <laughs> well, you should choose the poem since you knew Susan best at the time of her unfortunate <clears throat> accident. right as he said her unfortunate accident not getting it jerry a throat clear is a non-verbal implication of doubt he thinks i killed susan oh help me Rhonda. by the way just for the record no i did not <laughs> does anyone think george might have murdered susan oh yeah i just assumed he murdered her of course he killed her so it's not just me then all right back to business oh also my fiance died from licking toxic envelopes that I picked out. Thanks again. So are you the head of the foundation? Well, let's just say it wouldn't exist without me. I gotta go down to the foundation. I'm interviewing high schoolers for the Susan Ross Scholarship. Does it ever bother you that this organization nope. is beating the bushes nope. and basically... Give this money away to no. virtually anyone, as long as they're not you. I'm fine with it. Fine, I say. Elaine, guess what? I've decided to form a charitable foundation in Susie's honor. And as Susie's best friend, I want you to be involved. Mr. Peterman, I'm Susie. She's me. I feel the same way. <laughs> That's why this foundation will meet around your schedule. Nights, weekends, every free moment you have. We were engaged to be married. Uh, we bought the wedding invitations and... Uh, yada, yada, yada. I'm still single. <laughs> 
So what's she doing now? Yada. <laughs> I got it. Well, what about you? You you told me that you were engaged. What was the rest of that? Hi, I uh, need some party invitations. Okay. Have you been in here before? About a year ago. Wedding invitations. Right. How'd that all work out? No complaints. Well, they're arranged according to price, and as I recall... Actually... I think these nice glossy ones. My God! George! I slipped on the invitations. How's the towels? They're back on the rack. Even with the two of us. I think we're still a man short. Mr. Costanza. Your legs have sustained extensive trauma. Apparently, your body was in a state of advanced atrophy due to a period of extreme inactivity. But with a lot of hard work and a little bit of luck, I think there's a good chance you may one day walk again. Well, that's good news. Invitations again. Oh, yeah, that's weird. <laughs> All right, well. Huh? You want to grab some coffee? Yeah. Or, yeah, coffee. Ooh, I'd like to get some coffee. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. This was supposed to be the summer of George! <laughs> the summer of George! <laughs> I said I was sorry. You can stuff your sorries in a sack, mister! Would you please stop saying that? How was the date? Pretty good. I think she might be the one. No. <laughs> oh, french fries. Pat, George. Uh, baked uh, potato. Uh -huh. Sorry. Yeah, you stuff your sorries in a sack, mister. Oh, no, it's Sally Weaver. Oh, yeah, your old college roommate. No, it's Susan Ross's old college roommate. So, Susan's dead. Uh, Mrs. Ross, it's, it's George. And who? George Costanza, Susan's uh, friend. Long time no speak. We're all out of lime juice. Told that woman to buy more. George, the Susan Ross Foundation is having an event this weekend. Oh, I just uh, leased a house out in the Hamptons, and I've got to get out there this weekend and sign the papers. I'm going back to bed. Thank you for calling, George. Oh, sure. I mean, after all, you were almost my... Uh... Okay, I gotta go. Where are we, George? Almost there. Yeah, this is the end of Long Island. Where's your house? We, uh, go on foot from here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's no house! It's a lie! There's no solarium! There's no prickly paint! There's no other solarium! We know. <laughs> Why did you make me drive all the way out here? Why didn't you say something? Why? 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 We don't like you, George. And we always blamed you for what happened to Susan. Oh. So you were the doctor on duty the night Susan Ross died. Yes, that's right. It was May 16th, 1996. I'll never forget it. So you broke the news to Mr. Costanza. Could you tell the court, please, what his reaction was? I would describe it as restrained jubilation. Oh. Murderer! He killed our daughter! He, he knew those envelopes were toxic! Murder in this court 